You're listening to Adi Shokbe Live. Because I'm here in the UK and I'm Nigerian sometimes, mm-hmm. maybe when I talk about it too much, some people look mm-hmm. at me like, ah, to be. So I want to know from a Ghanaian in Ghana, yeah. Is that to be as important to you yes. as they are no, to us? No, yeah? to be is really, really important, especially <laughs> to Afrobeats because mad the time when Out to Beats was running uh, Afrobeats, other people were running other sounds. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what are the challenges that you have faced in trying to get heard and, and get noticed? Yeah. And how did you overcome those? Or how are you overcoming those? Um, so I would say first and foremost is investment. So I kept going to the studio and I've and I became a studio rat and I've never looked back. Like, what did the family think about that? I mean, coming from a, a house that loved music, they wanted me to do music, but they wanted me to do gospel music. Mm. Yeah. The Afrobeat Podcast. Right. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to another edition of Adi Shopper Live. Of course, the official Afrobeats podcast here yep. from the Afri Media Studios in London, where we're shutting it down, inviting guests to come and chop it up with us, as well as discuss the topics within the culture. As always, we appreciate the subscriptions, liking, commenting. Make sure you share, subscribe, and comment as well. We appreciate all of that. And big shout outs to our partners from LM Media to shoops.com, where you can post your tickets if you're an event organizer and you're looking to sell out tickets to your events. Make sure you visit shoops.com or if you're just looking for a lovely night out with the girls, bottleless brunches, parties, concerts, go to shoops.com right now and get tickets to the hottest events in the country. So what are you waiting for? Get Shoops in now. Anyway, I'm joined in the studio by someone all the way from Accra, Ghana. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I've got some interesting stories to share with this brother. Uh... Very, very talented and different brother right here. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my guest, the incredible Daco Vibes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> my brother, my chairman, listen, my Oga. My brother, listen, my Oga, man, how far? Right? So, um, you, you, so at least you can talk to me. How um, are you doing, brother? Bro, I'm feeling blessed. I'm mm. feeling blessed, man. It's, it's December and Charlie. We have we have we have a, a, a song we have a song that's doing very good yeah across everywhere so I feel blessed man yeah you, 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 it's looking like you might be picking up those checks that December you released the record you know in, in time for the Ember period so yeah, I mean, you I'm look like invested. you were ta- you were targeting December I mean it's God's timing mm. I wasn't really actually targeting it December mm. but I was hoping that it, it would make it in time for 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 this season mm. and then it made it. Mm. Yeah, the, to- the song we're talking about is you and your brother from Nigeria, yeah. uh, Davido. Davido, Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. You know, that, that, no, my l- name is a little, a little <laughs> French on that. Oh you know God, I mean? oh God! I, you know, whilst I was doing research, I came up with something that said you spoke four languages or you understand four different languages. Yeah, what yeah. languages are those? So it's Ghana, Chi, English. Wow. Yeah, and then like a little bit of um, French and Ewe and Ghana, but like mixed of everything. What? Yeah. So was that like a conscious effort by your parents or was it just because how you were moving or you're interested in languages? What was it that made you understand? Because, you know, I'm Nigerian, I'm Yoruba. Yeah. And we, we only, most of the time, you only yeah. focus on your own tribe yeah. and that's it. Yeah. Talk to me about so, that. So um, in Ghana, you know, Ghana is a very hospital, amicable yes. country. We yep. we encourage a lot of cultures. Mm. So in school, in school, I was studying a lot of French from like primary school into mm. senior high school and all of that. Mm. And then with the local ones, I guess it was movements mm. because uh, we moved a lot. Our family moved a lot. Mm. And everywhere that I went to, I had to adapt because if you go to Rome, you have to do what the Romans yeah, do. Yeah, you get me? Yeah, so if with the time, yeah. So I mean, the, the times when I find myself in Malam, mm. out and then I, uh, in Bawe, or I'm, I'm, I find myself in Kumase, or mm. I find myself in Labadi, all these people, all these places have like different different, different languages and, and languages. vibes. Mm. You have to tap into that. Listen, man, let's talk about Daco vibes. I came in contact with you. It's very interesting, you know. Yeah. I caught your. Um, I think it was tomorrow mm. that I ate. The first thing that I ever mm. came in contact with, yeah. Daco Vibes, was tomorrow. That time, shout outs to Nollywood TV. I had a mm. TV program called Nolly Afro Beats where we were just showing music videos from across Africa. And I wanted to make an effort to make sure that it was a diverse 
kind of sound and yeah. create, and and I was just digging in the internet, <laughs> and that song, the video had just been released at the time. Wow. And when I, I remember bringing it to my producers, shout outs to the entire team, everybody they just fell in love with it. They loved wow. the style, they loved everything, and because of that, throughout the period when we shot Nolly Afro Beats for like two years, the team. Yeah. We're so up on Daco vibes that anything you were on, be it a collaboration, because you were on a couple collaborations after that, yeah. they were grabbing it and putting it on oh, just wow. because of the strength. God of bless them. Tomorrow. I didn't know all of this. Can like I would shout them out and show I went, them I went, love, I went on Instagram today. We've got the Instagram account. It's called Nolly Afro Beats. If you go on it, and I'll scroll check. back, oh. you'll be stunned. It's oh, on there. I'm emotional. Oh. I'm telling you, Shall just you, off man. of you, what, the, the, what the video was like. Mm. So to, let's talk about Darko Vibes yeah. and your style. Yeah. Your style, it, you, it, I think it's uh, an injustice to say you're Afro beats, and it's an, it's an injustice to say you're trap music. <laughs> There's, it's a hip life, high life. Yeah. Talk to me about Darko Vibes. Who, um, what makes Darko Vibes the musician? So um, I grew up in, in like different environments, like mm. I said. And then in my house, they, they really love music. Like my mom and my dad, both of them are like really, really big music enthusiasts. Mm. And then apart from that, my, my, my other family members. So I kind of like grew up listening to different types of music because everyone had their own interest in mm. everything that they loved. Mm. So I think that can, that thing is is in me. So any beats that I hear, mm. based off what I grew up listening to, I hear the beat and then I put my own experience in there. Mm. So I don't I don't I don't wake up and say, okay, I'm I'm only uh, 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 vibing to this beat or this one. If the beat is good. And I connect. I'm yeah. just going to pour my experience in there. Wow. That's basically how I create. What part of Ghana, you know, Accra, um, do you represent? A lot of people will say, you know, I represent this side. I represent. Yeah. What area is when Daco Vibe stand on stage? Yeah. What area is going crazy the most? So if you know, you know. If I'm if I'm standing if I'm standing at Labadi, mm. you know it's shut down. If I'm in Malam, you know it's shut down. If mm. I'm in Kaswa. You know, it's shut down because wow. yeah, be- because I come from a very big family. It's, it's really extended, mm. and like I said, we moved a lot. So I and I grew up in a broken home, sadly. Mm. So today I'm with my mom, tomorrow I'm with my dad, dad, or with my grandma or my auntie mm. somewhere. And um, in my house, we are, we are those kind of people. Like we are loud. So mm. anywhere we are. You make yourself known. Yeah, we make ourselves known in a way. So any place that I'm at, everybody, everyone kind of like knows me because I was hustling with the kids out there. Mm. And then right now, those kids are, are like, they are, they are in my zeitgeist. So mm. I'll say they are like my age mates now. Mm. So those kids are the kids that grew up with me. So we are the ones that's like that's taking it over now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You, you touched on your childhood there, you know, having parents that separated. A yeah. lot of us grew up. In, in that type of, you know, environment. Talk to me about your childhood. What was it like? You know, what what do you remember about Daco Vibes' childhood? <laughs> so just recently, like I, I was telling my friends, realization is really hitting me a lot. Mm. Like I feel like, okay, so right now I'm transcending from like the child that I used to be into a man. Mm. And then looking back, I would say I was, I was stubborn. Mm. I would say I'm a, I, I, I listened to a lot of, grown folks mm. because a lot of them really and truly spoke to me so i'll say i listened to a lot of people and then I, i'm stubborn and it was it, it's been an experience because mm. so many other times something new comes up or i remember something and then it drives up like i laugh so hard <laughs> or sometimes i tear up mm. or maybe my kid brother will remind me of something that i never ever ever thought we ever did <laughs> 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 but he'll remind, he'll remind me and mm. I'll be like, bro, you did lie. He's like, no, for real, I remember it. We did this. <laughs> no like, way. no way, bro. So it's really been an experience, especially mm. just moving from my just moving from place to place. Mm. Mm. We got a chance to do some one or two bad things <laughs> and stuff. So <laughs> talk to yeah. me about where music became initially a hobby mm-hmm. and how it transcended being a hobby into a profession. Um, so I would say um, it, it, it's, it, it's been since I was a kid. Mm. So um, I'm a music enthusiast. Yep. So I kind of like 
in a way, when I hear a song right now, especially when the chorus or whatever is catchy, I just need to hear the song once and I'll know the song. Mm. And Sticks. Yeah, so it's, that thing has been with me since I, I was a kid. So all the time the grown folks call me, yo, come and sing this song for us. Come and sing this song for us. I mean, I didn't know the lyrics at that time, mm. but I knew the melodies. Mm. So all the time I was, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing melodies, melodies, melodies. So it's been a hobby since a kid. But it, it became a job for me in senior high school mm. when you had to like bust freestyles. So I was battling seniors, God, you know what I'm saying, all of those things. And then eventually a friend of mine was like, oh, bro, I need you to do a, write a cross for me. Wow. His name is Piro. Shout out to Piro. I always say that. Mm. I was like, do a chorus for me. And we did a first song. It's called F- uh, First Love. I did it for a girl a, a girl in my church those times. Mm. I, I was feeling it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've been loving that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I was feeling it. So, I did a song, First Love. Yeah. Went to the studio, did a chorus. The producer, which is my friend Vax, mm. he met me and I was like, "No, bro, you have to, you have to keep coming to the studio." So I kept going to the studio and I've and I became a studio rat and I've never looked back. Like, what did the family think about that? I mean, coming from a, a house that loved music, they wanted me to do music, but they wanted me to do gospel music. Mm. Yeah, but like I was telling, I mean, I was telling my mom, and I and I understand something that. Our parents will not always tell us the truth. They will mm. advise us based yep. off their age. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So Facts. knowing that, I was like, Ma, I, I, we are living with, I don't, I don't live with just angels out here. I don't even remember the last time I experienced an angel, mm. but I'm experiencing things in life that I really Real want life. to talk about. And I feel like people are going to relate to me on that level. So this gospel thing is going to box me. It's, it's not even going to allow me to mm. you know, go through life and then speak with experience so that mm. somebody else will listen to me because that's how they listen to you. Absolutely. So I was like, I, I need to go through the experience and sing about it. I have a gospel song wow. because I was feeling that that way. That I, spiritual, yes, I, that spirit, you wanted to speak about those things. I was meditating on that level. So yeah. I was like, I, I did a song and till today when I hear that song, I still feel happy. I'm mm. like, okay, I meditated on this and then it happened. Mm. Yeah, you feel me? Like I said, with regards to the video tomorrow, um, yeah. What that showed me from the beginning was that this brother is different. Not only was the sound different, but also the visuals Mm -hmm. was different. That was, I I believe it was 2016 or something like that. And that was at the height of Afro beats and everybody trying to do the same Mm -hmm. thing. But that just came from left field. You were in water, you know, you're having all this water hitting on you. Then you had your dark shades on. (laughs) It's a beautiful dark skin model on you. (laughs) So I'm like, this brother's different. Yeah. At the time when everybody's right on this side doing what they're doing, you decided to take that risk and go to this side with it. Talk to me about that. How do you get that type of confidence and saying, you know, this is what I want to do? Um, I guess the confidence comes from the sound. Mm. Yeah, I would say the confidence is from the sound because I am nobody, but usually when the music speaks through me, and then I'm, I, and I love music, so mm. when it speaks through me and I'm feeling it, and I'm feeling it, and I keep feeling it, then mm. there's nothing I can do about it. I just mm. let it go. And the t- I make sure I listen to, like, the other music because mm. yeah I'm 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 always really and truly always trying to like experience music and create things on different wavelengths mm. like I don't I, I cannot be on the same frequency for a long time it's, it gets monotonous mm. so eventually I'm always listening to maybe some old songs or some jazz something or something like just to for cre- different just for different vibes all the time because. That's how I want to be listening to my music 10 years from today. Like, mm. if I put it together and I'm listening to it, or maybe 10 years from today, people that grew up with me, if they are going to listen to the catalog, they are going to have this experience, be like, okay, this guy actually is going to die a, a musician, not mm. just a recording artist. Uh, but what, what, weren't you scared? Because a lot of people are thinking about their pockets. So they want to jump in the queue where yeah. everybody's at to make sure that they can feed their families and make money quick and fast money. Was that something you thought about as a oh, yes. body musician? Oh, yes. I mean, there's so many times you go to the club and we, the, the, the DJ will be like, okay, we have a BPM. Mm. Yeah. But the DJ will be playing the BPM and, yeah, obviously, humans. Uh, firstly, I was feeling that way. I was like, nah, let me hope. But I'm like, okay, 
I shouldn't be selfish with the song as the, my music that I create as well. So I'm like, I'm doing what I love, mm. but then again, I'm finding a way to juggle and then give the people something they that want. they can jump to in the club because those are my brothers too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They are trying to like jump to Daco vibes in the club. So yeah. I need to, you know what I'm saying, listen to their whatever and then make sure I do that one for them. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you, all the time from the club, what the people actually play from the club when they are going home is the Daco Vibes record. Vibes. It's going to put you in that space. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I kind of like felt positive about that. So I was like, okay, then it's it's not always about this. There's, There's this people too. There's also the other side. Obviously, of... right now, since it's a, it's, 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 it's a job, mm. I need to know how to cater to this group of people as well. And all the time, it's, it's marketing. Like, you need to make sure you cater for the that business. music. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, talk to me about you know, some of the musicians um, that you looked up to, especially coming from Ghana, who were those musicians that Daco, a young Daco vibes was like, God damn, man, I, you know, he, this, these are the people that are doing it. Mm -hmm. This is the footsteps I want to walk in. Mm -hmm. Who inspired a young Daco? Okay, so um, to create, mm. to create music, especially music and everything, there, there, there are so many people, Sako there, Samini Batman. <laughs> Tiny R2Bs. I'm a big fan of R2Bs. They sure, want. That's a Yeah, Kojo and Chi. Mm. We have Daddy Lumba. We have Amachi Dede. Nah, don't, 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 so, you see, Kojo and Chi, Daddy Lumba, Amachi Dede. Actually, you have to put them to a different side. Different, no, they are all that's, the way, they are all the that, way on that's, the other side. That's like the legendary, the legendary side. Stuff. We need to, you know, that's when that's, you're... No, no, yeah. so respectfully. Facts. Sorry, respectfully. Yes. I'm just, I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Just, <laughs> yeah, I mean. I'm just That's, putting names out there, but respectfully. You know, yeah, you, you know, know. Saying, Those are names legends are legends. you mentioned and with I really a bow. And, truly, and I really and truly fed off their energy, is mm. what I'm saying. Like, these people that I'm mentioning, mm. I, li I still consistently listen, listen to their music. Facts. And I'm, I'm looking for technique. Mm. And they have it. You know what I'm saying? Like, they give me technique, so um, these people, I, I really and true, they really inspired me. VIP and them, like Ooh. they really inspired me Those so big much. Names yeah, right there. yeah. Big they names. really inspired us so much with the flex, steez. You know, how I saw, I saw, you know, I heard Kojo Antwi on a, yeah. on on a song with King Promise, brush. It's crazy. crazy. I saw <laughs> Amache Dede. You know, in London live performing on stage here. Crazy. You know, alongside Kwame Eugene. Stupid. Crazy. I saw him on stage with Sarko in, in Ghana. Ridic Madness. Like the way they can still, still you do. Still ramp on son. When we if ramp on son did his new EP with Kill Beat and Promise. I, 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 God bless me. I have one song in there, mm. and I'm like, how do you do Sa this? That's mad. How do you do this? Mm. Like, how can you? You are still, you are still in, mm. you are still in the wavelength. Like this guy is the only one who sings like him. Like, mm. and if I listen, like Kujenchi, he's the only one who sings like him. You listen to Amachi, they're the only person who yeah. sings like him. See if you're mean? listening to R2Bs, Batman, yeah. Samini, all these yeah. guys, like, they are distinct. Yeah. And, they are, they are, and, and I really and truly learned so much from them. I'm not even going to lie. Mm. Mm -hmm. I, I still I think do. We're still, exactly, we're still all learning from them. Now, still do. from Darko Vibes being known as an individual for me, yeah. then... I heard about the Lamame gang. Yeah, the same gang. Yeah. The same the gang. Same gang. Yeah. Talk to me about the same gang. I had the experience to see you guys on stage at Afro Nation. Afro Nation. Yeah. Whoa. For me, that was crazy because yeah. I'm on stage and these guys, these guys come in. You know, this one with like a green hair. This one, this. <laughs> they come on stage and the stage went crazy and it looked like you know this Afrobeats crowd that we have been partying with turned into this. Trap mosh pit, same type same of vibe, game. same game. Talk to me about that gang, yeah, and how it came together. Okay, so, um, La Meme Gang is a collective of mm. boys, you know what I'm saying? Like the genie, like uh, it's a mob, mm. everyone has their own um distinct sound that they create, yeah. But like, um, when 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 um, when it comes to like the end of the year or maybe in the middle of the year, we come together like the Power Rangers as family, yeah, as family to give them music. And how how La Mem Gang started was we we were a group of boys in the studio, hmm. and then we needed support, and then we were a group of boys. Hmm. We thought like instead of being going out there to we, get other people, let's use each other. Yes, we used each other. So when Spacely wow. has a song. 
we there's a group of people on standby to make sure it blows. <laughs> yeah. When I have a record, we have boys on standby, and that system is still working. Wow. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Wow! It's always it's because we, it's we, we we was like, no one is going to help you, bro. <laughs> so if no one is going to help you, and then we are a lot of boys, we have a lot of friends, we have a lot of families. Facts. Let's use that as a as a way to promote our music. So in a way, usually we come up with an album every year. We come up with an album, a mixtape, yeah. and then uh, each person, just one person, like or maybe especially an R J Z on a song, uh, uh, Darko Vibes and Kid Black on a song. Mm. There's two people bringing different fan bases yeah, then in bring, together. Yeah, then we bring other friends on board as well, and then we do it, and then we give it to them. Wow! Yeah, and then we put all our energies behind it, and that's 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 how, that's how we've been rolling. That's dope, man, and that's you know that really um, excites me to hear that you know young artists are thinking of ways outside of the box mm-hmm. to to be able to do it themselves mm-hmm. without having to stretch out that much. Yeah. As a young artist coming up in the game in Ghana, yeah. who is can be referred to as an alternative musician, you mm-hmm. do, you don't do. The one that I mentioned, Afro beats or rap or trap, yeah. you do everything. Mm-hmm. What are the challenges that you have faced in trying to get heard and, and get noticed? Yeah. And how did you overcome those? Or how are you overcoming those? Um, so I would say first and foremost is investment. Mm. Capital. If you are from Ghana, if you are from where I'm from, you know it's really difficult to get capital mm. to like promote the, the type of things that you do. Ways that I'm trying to beat this is to learn. Hmm. Yeah, it's to learn and listen more because at the end of the day, knowledge is power. And Facts. and that's the that's and me growing up right now, I've seen that <laughs> education is key. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again so that mommy can be happy. Education is key, man. <laughs> you have to keep learning. You have to keep Facts. learning because that's the only way you win. So mm. I'm like, yeah, I'm not even going to take nothing personal or be like I'm I'm blame somebody for where I come from and that. I'm like people come from the same platform or place that I come from, but they learned and they they got their mm. way out of it. So I can learn, and I mean I'm here with my big bro right now. You know Ch- what I'm saying? Man. Trying to like tap into new Facts. frequencies and fans and stuff Facts. like that. So I feel like these and other ways and more are mm. how we can we can overcome these things instead of like sitting down at home and being pitiful because mm. that's sad. Now. Fashion has also been a very, very important part of your, yeah, love, your career it. so far. You know, I've seen you in the mink coats. I've seen you in, you know, in the in the <laughs> exclusive Jordans. I've seen you in the SK flies. I've yeah. seen you in all of them. Mm. Where did that come from? The love for fashion, the love for, you know, excu- you know, kind of like exclusive stuff. Yeah. Where did that come from? Man? Um, where we from, man? We rock traditional <laughs> stuff. You get me? I mean, I rock, I rock those too. Yeah. They, I mean, I, I have moves, so I rock everything. Mm. I, I, have, I have times when I rock three pieces like that to the club, and that's mm. how I feel. Mm. Like, but I'm saying, um, this, the, the, this fashion thing I'm saying comes from my house. My dad really loves clothes, perfumes, those kind of things, mm. but nothing. And then my mom. It's into fabrics. Mm. She, she did so many other things, but she loves clothes as well. So eventually, she 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 started selling fabrics. Mm. So my kid brother, who's Philip Five Four K Goldie, he's mm. he's handling. He has his clothing line called VG Force. He's wow. he, he's following the link up now. So mm. my mom has this uh, fabric thing that my brother and I used to always then are watching fabrics, mm. just paying attention to fabrics, picking ones to go and sew, mm. do our own style. Checking, my dad used to sew as well. Wow! So we had all these magazine books of different clothes, different stuff. So I'm always looking at sheets. Wow! Yeah, I'm always looking at sheets and patterns. So I, I, I think that's where it came from. And I saw it's part of me. I saw an article maybe like two, two or so, two and a half years ago, where you were talking about people like Virgil Abloh and rest you peace, know, sir. rest in peace. Talk to me about. Us as a community losing someone like a Virgil Abloh, how big of a blow? It's uh, it's very sad because right now, uh, for me personally, unless unless um, unless um, I would say we have other people. It's almost in impossible there. to feel. Hey, because I'm like I, 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 for a minute, I I I I was feeling like 
it's it's going to get to a time where every child is going to own a Louis Vuitton mm. or an off-white brand. Because of him. Because of him. Every Facts. child across Africa. Facts. And, and it's going to be a, a, a norm. It's going to be a normal thing. Mm. Right now, I, I don't know how I feel about that dream. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Because he was, he was, he was reaching out to because people like you finished. guys. Yes, bro. It was and and like, trying to make I, it affordable. I regret for that I didn't meet. I didn't meet Virgil. Like I'm, I'm still hurt. Like mm. uh, because I had dreams, I had plans, and he literally just finished this skating um uh, thing in Accra. Wow. Like recently skating park in Accra. Right, 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 uh, right after he died. Wow. Right after that, he died, I guess. Yeah. Wow. And it's it's really sad because this December, I knew for a fact that I was coming to Ghana. Me, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to meet this guy, to shake him and tell him, yo, bro, you are a god. You are mm. a god. Just to make him know that he's a god and I've been following this guy. And then, Jesus Christ, for mm. the reason. Life is That's, a sad place, life, man. Life, life, life is really, really hard. Life Talking about sad. life being hard and sad. I know in 2020 as well, as part of La Mem Gang, you guys mm. went through, you know, controversies that yeah. shook the camp. Uh, you yeah. mentioned that, you know, the allegations of, yeah. of rape and sex. Yes. Was cyber bullying? Yes, that I mean that's that's why I believe because that's at that time everyone was going every and guy, nobody could find anybody. Is it or what was it? No, that's what I'm saying. It's 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 this kind of things happen online and it mm. was Corona at that time. People were bored as hell, so everybody was everybody online. was on their phone trying to have an opinion and it kind of affected some people. It set it set us back a little, but as for me, me, like, how I'm, do I'm you, a strong I'm a strong exactly. guy. Exactly. How do you push through? stuff like that especially when it 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 is negative and it is false yeah how does a person push through that um so me I, i'm I, like i'm saying i learn I, I listen to the old folks a lot i listen to the old folks i'm not the first person who has been through that mm. i've i've hung with my chairman a lot of people who have gone through a lot of controversies mm. and the only thing they tell me is, bro, the only reason why I hear is your music, bro. Nothing else is personal. I've hmm. seen Kanye West. They've canceled him. I've seen... They, they've, and and that's, 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 the, that's the era that we are in right yeah. now. It happens. Yeah. But I'm, like I'm saying, I'm not going to let that get to me psychologically because the main reason why and truly why I'm here and why people love me is the, the sound. Art. And that's the only thing that I think about. Facts. Two projects in 2020. Uh, yeah. You're also one of the, the the few Ghanaian artists who has taken the step to go into your brother's camp in Nigeria to promote mm -hmm. your music. Go as part of the Lameng Bam mm -hmm. gang and then go individually yeah. in the last couple of months to go yeah. and promote. Talk to me about that mentality because a lot of people sometimes people are like, nah man, I, I'm, I'm cool where I'm at. You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a god here so it's yeah. whatever. Yeah, I mean, God is only one. <laughs> <laughs> but but like I'm saying, I learn a lot and I listen a lot. Like anytime I'm hanging with my Nigerian friends, they be like, "My bro, come to the city. Your money they do. Mm. Your things they decide. Oh, you guys guys come. Oh, you guys guys come." And like I have so many friends out there who are really and truly down to support me and show me Facts. love. So Facts. from time to time, they are always in my city. And I'm showing them love. They'll be like, bro, you have to come, come and let back. me do let me let me, let me let do, them do treat something. you nice. Yes, let me I like do, I do some. I like that. They want then they, they 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 it's like that. I like so that. I all like the time that. when I'm out there, it's it's consistent fun. I'm yeah. not even gonna lie. It's mad love. I've seen, you know, co science run time. Of course, you've got collaborations, run time, Mr. Easy. We saw social media going crazy. You and whiskey partying every single day. <laughs> Whiskey, have you given him a Ghanaian passport yet? We need to no, know. No, Whiskey, Whiskey has, Whiskey has been a Ghanaian way before me. Yeah. Me, I'm a small boy. <laughs> me, I'm a small boy. <laughs> I tell Yo, people. Whiskey, yeah. knows, Whiskey knows everywhere. Whiskey goes out there to go, go and get his own food out there in Ghana. He doesn't call anybody. Whiskey doesn't need anybody in Ghana. <laughs> Listen, it's a, it's when, you have, when you have the, the, the co-signs, of R2Bs yeah. and God the relationship R2Bs. with R2Bs, the way yeah. Whiskey does. Yeah. It, it's like he it's, can it's, walk in, like you yeah. can go to the president's house. Whiskey is solid. It's <laughs> solid. Like he does the way he likes. He's gonna, Talk he's to gonna me about R2Bs, man. Um, for me, one of the most iconic groups to ever come out of Africa. You're blessed to have them from Ghana, yeah. um, especially for us in the UK. Mm -hmm. They are 
essential mm. to, to Afrobeat. Afrobeat and, and the history, the success. Facts. And when we talk about catalog, yes. these guys, but uh, you know, because I'm here in the UK and, and I'm Nigerian, sometimes mm -hmm. maybe when I talk about it too much, some people look mm -hmm. at me like, R2B. So I want to know from a Ghanaian in Ghana. Yeah. Is how to be as important to you yes. as they are to no, us? No, yeah? how to be is really, really important, especially <laughs> to Afrobeats because they're mad the time when Af how to be was running uh, Afrobeats, other people were running other sounds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, facts. And it was so, back, and, to back, yeah, back to back, back to back to back to back, and they are still back to back in us. Like they Albums just put out, out now, their new album, at back the one to basics. With whiskey crazy. Yeah, Tinkerbell. Yo, they, my, my, favorite, my favorite song is Pressure, track number one. Mm. It has this called track called Your Loving. Mm. Yeah, this track too, they kill me. The one with Whiskey too, they bust my head. That one, they bust head. They have Shobanga. They have another one with, oh, Charlie. And they listen to them every day. My guy knows, Louis knows. Like, <laughs> I'm jamming out to me like every day because mm. uh, really and truly, apart from like me having a relationship with them, mm. the kind of music that they create is something Sweet. that I really and truly relate to because mm. Anytime I'm in the studio and then they are creating, I'm, I, it drives me crazy. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm already going crazy. But when the song comes, I'm still crazy. Mm. And I'm still on rotation. I'm like, and it has to be, God bless you. <laughs> yeah, God listen, bless you. I just wanted to know because those brothers are very important to us. Yes, and, and, they, and, and, and they are the reason why I, like, I'm, I'm here. I'm mm. not even going to lie because, yeah, because... I am, I'm still feeding off that out to bees energy. Mm. Like the things that out to bees laid, the foundations that they laid, mm. is the reason why I stand where I stand today. And I'm really and truly grateful because That's I'm right. really enjoying it. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm enjoying it well, well. Speaking about enjoying it, uh, you've come to the UK, mm -hmm. had your headline show. Um, so that, first you know one ever. I mean? First one ever. First yeah, one ever in the UK. Yeah, for me, yeah. Um, yeah. What was that experience like? You know, I couldn't make it. I forgot that NASA was on the same yeah, day. I was, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw but, it. I saw yeah. It was easy. But what was that experience like for Darko Vibes having to come to London, probably the hottest spot for Afrobeats outside of Africa, mm -hmm. and to do what you did and get that type of reception? Um, so coming from where I come from, it mm. means a lot to me because it, it, it was almost surreal. Like I was like, oh, wow. We are we are not home right now. We are we are far away from home, and we have this love, and mm. it's a seed that I really want to watch and nurture, and then see it grow. Mm. So in the whole time, that's why I was thinking. I was like, "Wow, this is a wonderful seed, and this one it, 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 we should nurture this thing. It's a beautiful seed that has to grow." So mm. for me, it was enlightening. I'm not even gonna lie; it, it really enlightened me a lot. It really made me feel like I should keep working, like keep pushing. And I keep doing it because people actually love what I'm doing. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you know, you had the green hair in the past. You had yeah. your swag in the past. Yeah. I've seen you in some crazy pictures of models, videos. You know, how's the London, <laughs> uh, you know, the London ladies? What's that? <laughs> oh, no, no. It's not about that. I, always, I always put it. Yeah, you see, the camp is going shh. So. Oh, they know what's up. Listen, know, Darko, that, that means you've been going all over the shop. No, the thing is, the thing is, since I'm, I'm, I'm wild, right now I'm really and truly wild. Like is I want, it? I'm You're looking going for. In. Yes, I, I just, I really need to work right now because it's not a joke. And are you sending a message to a personal girl? Like, listen, no. I know we've had a good time, but I'm busy. You know what no, I mean? no, for real, like. <laughs> I'm not, it's not, it's not about, it's not about a personal girl about that. Right now it's about money, bro. <laughs> Yo. Chairman, Chairman does want to understand. I need money, yo. You see? I need a whole lot of money right now and the girls take a lot. Mm. And right now, I'm, I, I need, I need, I don't need that. I don't need that energy right oh, now. Man, I need this guy's sending time. the message. Trust me. We're all going to find out in the blog soon who this girl is. <laughs> I run. <laughs> he's firing shots. Like, listen, I'm busy. I told you, start ringing. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my dad. Listen. <laughs> listen. Yo. You, the, uh, congratulations <laughs> on the video with David O. Oh, God you know, bless him. I like the fact. Yeah. Talk to me about David. Uh, the, the, what the can Shima you Pell. say about David O himself? Be, you um, know, jumping on Jim Appel. How did that happen? Um, so um, um, we met. We met in the club mm. first and foremost. I, mean, I like to chill, especially mm. when I'm when I'm in Ghana, because most of the family members are there. So I like to chill. We're in the club, and Big Bro was there, and I was mm. like, 
bro, please. Let's um, do this. I'm, I'm working on some stuff, and I really, I really need your blessing. Like, you need to bless me on this one. You know, like, give me bread now. Mm. Give me bread, bro, bro. Give me bread. Let's do it. Like, it looks like, oh, come to my apartment. So I went to, I went to his apartment. I played him a couple of songs. He had Jumapel, and I was like, he's loving it. And then I did a pre-hug. It, it, it made me, it was gone. That was mm. my local dialect. Yeah. So I wrote that down. He reacted. It was fast and he like did that, that. Like, like that. We finished. He gave all his passion. He passionately actually really did the song. Like went in, filled the song. Mm. It was very easy. The, the few days after, we had to shoot the video. I had to come up with some idea ASAP. Big bro was tired. He went to perform somewhere. He yeah. still pulled up. For the video shoots, wow. what a king did heavy stuff. Heavy, heavy. He dressed bro, like a king. Like a king, bro. You come on. Did you see him in the palace. That was bro? mad. Did you see him in the palace. Bro? I'm like, it's like what? yo, king no be you. He don't spray. He don't was, spray. But he he really and truly performed the song. He hmm. did it and he showed me love and I'm really, really and truly thankful, man. Listen, um, it's been an interesting career so far. Darko mm-hmm. vibes is on. A lot of people's lips, you know, the cosigns signs have been incredible. You know, we're seeing Whiskey, R2Bs, we're seeing David O, we're seeing everybody that's yeah. standing right next to you at this very critical stage. We're going mm-hmm. into 2022 now. Mm-hmm. What should the people be expecting from, from Darko Vibes? Um, um, I wouldn't say that people should expect. I would mm. say that people should keep praying for me because... Without it, I, I cannot do all of this greatness mm. that you are trying to bestow mm. on me. Mm. And this greatness is, is not a joke. Mm. So I'll be asking for prayers instead of expectations because I'm human. I might disappoint you and I, I wouldn't want you to feel disappointed or hurt in any wow. way. So I want you to keep me in your prayers that's, all the time. That's deep. Another message to that girl. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean. <laughs> 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 Listen, my brother, um, like I said, from the moment I saw your video in 2016 mm-hmm. uh, for for tomorrow, I knew there was something different about you. you. The music has been different. The sounds has been crazy in mm-hmm. a song, a massive hit. Your collaborations with your everybody has mm-hmm. been fantastic. Yeah. And we're excited to see what the future holds for you. Yeah. I like how you're moving, how Thank you're you so talking. Much. I like how you hold the legends in their rightful places, your Thank R2Bs, you. to Amache Dede's, Respectful. to all of them. I, I like that. Because Respectful. they say if you don't respect the past, yeah. then you're not going to have respect for, for the future yeah. as well. And if you don't know where you're coming from, Facts. you wouldn't know where you're going to. That's it, yeah. my brother. So. Ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Accra, Ghana. Don't know. It's the one and only. Takova! Weasel, she's <laughs> Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Listen, man, subscribe, yeah. follow, like, share. We Good. appreciate it. From us, it's peace, love, and harmony. Done Facts. Done, no. Wow.